Like, are you royalty and like... really happy we got that car for them. Maybe because I've done a lot of these, but, you know, I got a weird sense I'd done this in a past life or something. I found out some background on this one. Oh, yeah? Some guy just got released from jail, and the first thing he wanted was this car. Well, he's got it now. Hopefully that's the last we hear from him. He sounded like he meant business. I feel like we're living on the razor's edge with some of these collections. That one felt a little too dangerous. Even for us. What happened? what happened? What are you doing, what are you doing here? here? Where's Rydell? Where's Rydell? He's, out. He's out. I asked I Alec asked about what Tess said. said. If he wanted he me wanted to throw the race. race. It's, true. it's true. What'd you say? What'd you say? I, told I told him, him no. no. And well, well he wasn't, wasn't about, about it. it. I thought he I thought might he come might here come next, next, and I couldn't let that happen to Rydell. Thanks, I guess. I guess Alec never gave a shit. Saw a big score and he took it. Another feeling. Listen, I wasn't part of what happened here two years ago. I just bragged to Alec about where I worked. Well? That's true. Then why'd you go to their car? You had two years to make it right. What? Come back here into open arms? You heard Rydell that night? He took me in when no one else would. Whatever. I don't give second chances, and I don't expect them. So now what? You know Alex game. What are you gonna do about it? I'ma hit him where it hurts. Liberate his inventory. You interested? I could be. I'll call you. So coming for that car. Good. Kid, let's bring her back. We will. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Myth Ninja, and this is episode 8 of Need for Speed Unbound. Uh, and as you guys saw in the beginning there, uh, we had quite a lot uh, happen. Uh, we finished off all of the uh, Most Wanted missions, uh, which is collecting cars for like the high priority people. And then we also completed all the Rydell missions. And we got a signature call, which was pretty cool, um, from the Blacklist. And if any of you guys rem remember, it is the squad from Need for Speed Most Wanted. And they made a whole bunch of cameos. I didn't get it, unfortunately, because I didn't think they were going to really talk about it. But they did, and it was just too late to try to record it all. Um, but I did get the car. If you guys didn't get a glimpse of that at the uh, at the end, well, didn't get the car. But I am able to buy it if I really wanted to. So let's say we went to buy and sell, buy a custom. And it is... Oh, no. Oh, that's right. It's a most wanted car. So we actually can't buy most wanted cars. But... Anyways, it was uh, the main protagonist's car. They made a cameo to Razor and the whole most wanted thing, saying it was like deja vu, like if I've done this before in a past life and whatnot. But it was kind of funny. Um, but what you're all here for today and what I'm here for is the Grand. One thing, though, that S Plus is only halfway through. And I don't know if this has anything to do with it, but my car is only at half. It's at 372, which is max is 400. I have never bought a engine upgrade. And as you can see, this is a significant jump. 
I don't know what it does for the old engines. I don't know if I get to keep this old engine and it'll be like fully maxed out or if I can just install all the parts. But as you can see the top right, I have $700,000. I have some money to spend and I only need 200 grand to get into the finals or to the grand. So I'm going to buy this engine. It makes it a lot faster. And there's actually, I think there's some sort of patch because um, like up to like maybe like a couple of days ago that those numbers did not make any sense like I would have this engine right which is my engines maxed out and this engine buying it uh, did not do anything like it didn't buff up any of my horsepower max torque it didn't buff up anything so the fact that this is actually doing what it's supposed to be doing it is really nice and I'm glad they're keeping up with it but we're gonna buy it and see Look, see, I own it. What happens now? So parts. I had to buy everything all over again. I can't even afford that. Oh, this thing already has equipped. Oh. So it changes everything. Oh, wow. okay all right oh that sucks man that really sucks wow it has a twin turbo <laughs> but i already had comes in with the twin turbo that's crazy uh but it, the nitrous is bad i'm buying the nitrous for sure like i said and i hate how expensive all this is but i have some money to spend so why not can't spend much more than this Oh wow, zero to sixty and two point five—that's nutty. Then again, my Porsche is zero to sixty and two point two point three or something. That's not bad. And plus, this thing is a lot faster than my Porsche now. Maybe I might actually be able to win some races now that I have an upgraded engine. Oh man, I mean I can, but do I want to? And I really don't want to, I mean, I'm going to get a million dollars for beating the grand. <clears throat> want to spend this much money? Is it going to do much for me to be doing? I mean, this one definitely for sure. Screw it. Why not? Have the money. Might as well blow it all, right? All right, hand me. 35% grip. That's, uh... Wow, okay. This thing is definitely a lot faster than my Porsche. Okay, so now let's see if it changed that outcome. It didn't. At all. Why? I don't know why. Alright. Whatever. We fixed the car. We bought that. Unnecessarily, maybe. Yeah, but look at that. We get a million dollars. The Grand is only required to have a 330 rating. We get a Dodge Charger RT in the 1969, but over here it says the Countach, right, at the end. So I'm wondering if this is a bigger race than we actually believe. <clears throat> but I'm uh, I'm ready to go, ready to go if you guys are. Ah, uh, whoa! Hey kid. I don't know if I ever told you this, but if you feel that need, you know that need for, uh, wait, what was it? The need for, shit, I always forget this. Rydell, man, I got you. Don't worry. Hey, I even used some of that baby powder. I'll be rooting for you. Thanks, Rydell. Oh, speed, speed, the need for speed. Oh my gosh, it took him that long to finally say it. <clears throat> We're finally here. See what they gotta say now. Looks like 
Alec replaced me already. Did I look that ridiculous? Yes, absolutely. They're dropping a fortune in stop us. What do we do if it works? I don't know. Put a crew together, save the world, race home, pop a cold one, talk about family. You oh the no! Same thing, only different like eight, nine times. Why? <laughs> how we do things in the lake. Oh man, that was a big old cameo to the uh, Fast and Furious series. Hey. <clears throat> I need you to know I'm sorry. Like you said, I had two years to make it right, and I didn't. Yes. Listen, I'm still gonna take that car. Don't think them little tears gonna let you off easy. Oh, tears? You know, you need to worry about running the race instead of running that mouth. All right, shut up! Shut up, shut up! This is it! Woo! Now check your phones for the starting line, huh? Now I'm gonna be real. 5 0 knows something's going down. They'll be out tonight. That's not gonna stop you, right? Oh, is she Dad racing? For the Lake Shore Grand! Woo! Oh, that GTR looks mean. You know what? As long as it's one of us. Grand. Okay. Oh, boy. Tourist trap, okay, easy. Circuit race. Do that in my sleep in my uh my car. So it's an A, an A plus. Oh, this is gonna be easy. Head spin. The hustle and the S. Which is my GTR. And then Sky's the limit. I'm probably gonna do that. Oh no, I don't know. I might do that in my Mitsubishi. We'll see. Alright, well let's get going. Yep, oh, this is it. Buying two hundred thousand dollars. Yep, that's the car. And the limiter, get your car back. Oh, get your car back. <clears throat> in the top six, who's in here? Yeah, Shimizu. Ugh. Wait, Shimizu, what the? There's no way I'm gonna win. Oh god, I forgot how fast this car is. So they all have a car that kind of matches what they normally drive, but downgraded. Oh, okay. Don't worry, girl. Oh, jeez. You worried? Concern, maybe, for your safety. Stay on this scumbag's tail. Luckily, this is a. I'm gonna win this. Then I'm gonna let's spin these free. Go get a boat. Sure, that thing's gonna make it. <laughs> you didn't work on it, so. Yeah. Interceptor is here and ready to put it oh, in. Oh man. This. How is Medusa's car that fast? Better races than you have lost to me. <laughs> I'm surprised you're still in the race. I would have thought you'd flame out by now. I mean, I am on fire, if that's what you're saying. A lot of trash talk. All right, everybody. Interceptor is here. You're not going to say anything about my chances? Sorry, I'm busy right now. Can I ignore you another time? Okay, it's on. I don't know if I'm going to win this. Whoa! We're seeing some racers hit traffic here, dispatch. I'm not gonna lose them. You sure you want this car? Cause you ain't treating it nice. 
Control on the scene. Attitude nice. I'm trying to win. Oh yeah. And we got first. <clears throat> What? No way! Shimuzu got knocked out! So that means I don't even have to worry about him in the S+. Plus. Okay, Medusa's still a problem and Lyric is still a problem. If they can get knocked out in A+, plus, Rudiger and Jessica's not going to be an issue at all. Alright, finish top four. Alright, let's get it. Let's get this money, baby! My Mitsubishi Lancer. Sorry, baby girl, but you will. Like I'm your money. Let's lose these oh, I'm gonna try to trick her. Oh, well, that's fine. How good do I look? There's Carter Chumps. What? Banking on me crashing out? Nah, I'd hate to beat you on a technicality. Oh, that's a cop. My money is staying with me. There it is, Joe. All units, intercept the head and take this bone head down. We're out, and I am not. Oh ready. my gosh, this why? Come on now. I can make it easier for you if you want. Oh yeah? How are you gonna do that? Driving backwards? Try it. Might improve your lap times. We got this dispatch. Oh, it's on now. And the cop really jacked me up. Can't get back in here. What is it now, Yaz? Just checking you're still in the race. What, are you driving blindfold? Because that would explain a few things. Oh my gosh, why? Dispatch, AWD has arrived on the scene. Oh, where did she go? Yes, go to Jazz on first. You're worried I'm going to win and take that car? You should worry about crashing if you don't focus up. Oh, I'm focused. Oh my gosh. I'm restarting that. I'm sorry. Nah, that's that. Man, I just made too many mistakes. This is the closest you're getting to this car. Dispatch, we're in pursuit of suspects. Someone just got hit. Made it past the first round. Didn't think you had it in you. What? Banking on me crashing out? Nah, I'd hate to beat you on a technicality. We're engaging the Alright, so I gotta be ready for that damn that damn interceptor. Dispatch, interceptor is on the scene. Yeah, this one. I can make it easier for you if you want. Oh yeah? How are you gonna do that? Driving backwards? Try it. Might improve your lap times. Dispatch interceptor has joined the chase. This car is getting a little faster. Can you stay ahead? Team. Hey. What is it now, Yaz? Just checking you're still in the race. What are you driving blindfold? Because that would explain a few things. Oh, the cluster fuck of 
shit that doesn't down right there. Oh crap! We can't continue! Hope not. <clears throat> Getting worried I'm gonna win and take that car? You should worry about crashing if you don't focus up. Oh, no, focus. no, no, come on. Focus on winning my car back. You could do better. Actually, judging by your racing, maybe not. Can you stay ahead? Man, I really want Lurk to get the hell out of here, man. AWD has arrived, dispatch. AWD Come on, man. Out of the pursuit. I'll let that one go. Come on, dude. Oh! Okay. I'm sorry, I had to play dirty. That was that was cheap right at the end there. You can't juke them, they have perfect driving. Oh, I had a pick now. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm going with my, with my uh, GTR. Uh, Justica's out. I don't even know how he beat Justica. But... Alright. Lyric has to get out of here. Shimizu is definitely the biggest problem, though. Looks like we got company. We are hot on the heels of those suspects now. Oh man, I I took off. <clears throat> Turn though. What's the matter, yes? You've been pretty quiet. Just concentrating on racing. Maybe you should try it. Oh, yeah, I am. And I'm one step closer to getting my car back. Am I right? You got your entire life to be an idiot. Take today off. Did you pick that paint job? Yeah, why? Well, you know what they say about dress for the job you want? Looks like you want to be a clown. Damn. That was messed up. I didn't even paint this thing. Someone else already pre-painted it. Oh, shoot. Hey, Yaz, remember to have it detailed before I pick it up. I hate the smell of failure. You really think you're gonna win, don't you? Oh, I don't think, Yaz. You're right. You don't think. Damn. What's the matter? Can't handle my skills? If I had a dollar for every time you showed some skills, I'd have one dollar. Damn, bro! Relax! I'm just racing! On stretch. Being yes at the end there. Alright, who is it? Me, Yes, and Lyric, maybe? Oh, man. They're pretty much virtually the same. That 600 LT, man. I need acceleration more than I need top speed. Guy, okay, dude. He is a problem, but not like we can't beat him. He is definitely beatable. Oh, cute, cute. You think you got a chance against me? I'd rather not contend with the LPD, too. Dispatch, we're pursuing suspects. Moving real fast. All right, everybody. Interceptor is here. This is it. Think you can hold your nerve? I've been holding my nerve for two years. There are creams for that, you know. Ooh, Let's just really... put this dope out of their misery and end this. 
A team, interceptor is here to assist. I may be behind, but I'm enjoying this. Admit it, that was stylish. Are you fucking? Ah, come on, man! Get these guys. Cherish every last minute driving her, yes, cause soon you won't get another chance. Oh, you're right about that. She belongs in a museum. I fucking hate this guy, man. Oh, he just crashed. Right, you got some skills. Why is this road so damn curvy, bro? I was freaking specked out for this. They got, they Not got dumped left. on back there. I take my keys with a slice of humble pie. Whatever. I am rubber. You are glue. Nice comeback, loser. Man, they're really bringing the heat with each other. Getting dinged here, dispatch. Heavy on the road and going after them. Oh. Hard aggressive turning here. Hey, WD here and ready to assist. Final stretch. I can almost see the finish line. You sure that's the finish line? Whoa, hey, no, bro. Because I'm just about to cross it. <clears throat> we need to refuel up here. Dropping out. again. I kind of lose This street creep thinks they can fly. Getting dinged here, dispatch. Oh, yeah. Woo! Gotta play a little dirty, but sometimes that's what you gotta do. Oh yeah, and if you guys couldn't tell, I upgraded and repainted the uh, the uh, Porsche. We got a million dollars too. Damn, my car's all jacked up. Everybody loves an underdog. Oh yeah? How's Alex? Broke, fam. Thanks to you. I'm lost. Why, why do you sound happy? Oh, did I give you the impression that I work for Alex? <laughs> How many times do I have to tell you, Speedy? You never bet on just one horse. When I win, I win. When I lose, I still win. Dang, she bet everything on us. Loyalty's overrated. Nah. It's not. Yo, bro. Can I get a ride? Yeah, she was Hey. You earned it. Just go easy. She's got more kick than the last time you drove her. Kick, huh? You know, I feel like either we're about to get driven out of here or uh, we're about to run into something bad. Yeah, and I need someone to take my car back to the garage. Try to keep up. Dang, one last race. I don't have a racer, I just had a driver there. Man, I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, as you weren't kidding, she's got more kick than a Carolina Reaper. Told you. <sighs> what I could have done driving this thing. Crashed on the first corner. You forget what just happened? No, I saw you lose it a few times. Only one of us lost it. Damn, that was cold. Too soon? Just go easy, okay? 
please. I've waited two years. We are way past going easy. Oh, am I supposed to be behind Just her? Just don't say I didn't warn you. You must have put in a lot of work over these years. Night and day. Shows. Still. Can't believe you couldn't win the grand even in this. You ever gonna let me live this down? Not a chance. This city holds a lot of memories. It's our city now. We finally made it. Raced our way into Lakeshore legend. We still got work to do. Harder at the top. Everybody wants to take you down. Believe me. I'd like to see them try when I'm driving this whip. Rattel is gonna be hyped when he sees her. Think he's gonna be okay with me turning up? Why wouldn't he be? Cause he's stubborn. Check the mirror lately? I ain't stubborn. <laughs> Seriously? Remember that time at Deering's when you ordered the jumbo chili sub with all the trimmings? And? He said, girl, you won't finish all that. And your point? <laughs> you ended up stuffing your face till. I threw up all over Rydell. <laughs> and he said, next time order the salad. Easier to clean. <laughs> I miss him. He misses you too, yes? We'll see. You made a mistake. Long route. Own it. Talking mistakes? Yeah. How about miss? People loving this drama. <laughs> what, you trying to ruin the moment? What, I'm the only one getting chewed out? Ain't much to say. Without her, I wouldn't have won the grand. So you replaced me. Tess was not a Yaz replacement. For starters, she didn't know the difference between a spanner and a torque wrench. <laughs> I don't doubt that. She did know the difference between sweet potatoes and yams, though. There's a difference? You had no idea what her play was? Had my doubts. Honestly, though, only thing I cared about was beating you. Yeah, and I deserve that. But people like Pinks, they're only out for themselves. Maybe, but everyone deserves a second chance, right? Whoops. An opportunity to change. So okay, wait a second, actually, okay, lose, I got it. I'm getting the irony. Can't wait to see what you two did with the garage. <laughs> was thinking about how Rydell would call me when he couldn't <clears throat> find Renchi. <laughs> Funny, caught him talking to Renchi last week. What was he saying? How come I always find you now? You're exactly where I put you. I told him you hit it deliberately, just to mess with him. You know, I'm about to turn around. Yes, you better not run off with another one of my cars. Can't make no promises. Remember when we started out? Yeah, of course. <laughs> just a couple of gearheads with nothing to lose. We thought we were gonna win it all right off the bat. You thought we were gonna win it all. I had a handle on reality. <laughs> Maybe, although, I can't believe you made me do that jump. Could have been over before we even started. But the thrill, right? You can't bottle that. It's what we live for. That need for... Don't say it. But yeah, this is just the end of the beginning. No doubt. Besides, something's missing from the garage. What? The Jasmine Touch. Max speed. <clears throat> That's what she couldn't get any faster. I'm dropping now. Speed wobbles. Oh, those were going too fast. Getting to the end. We took a really long route to get the Rydells. We're pretty much traveling the entire map. Was traveling the entire map, exploring it one last time. I'm gonna enter through the back too, I think. And these cars that are in here. Ooh. Z06. Oh, that ugly defender. Look who I found. Sounds pretty. Smells nice, too. 
Right now, I'm... Compressor I'm... shot. Dude tried to fix it himself. I told him. Now I gotta undo what he did. Should've listened to you. Pain in the ass. <laughs> so how's the heights? <laughs> Overrated. You take the turbo out first? Since when do you do things by the book? Well, it's never too late to start. Well, all right. The lake? Better watch out. Man. For once, it's not such a crazy fucking ending. It's just a nice, solid ending with a decent story. The voice lines could be worked on a little bit. Alright, and where's the Dodge Charger I was promised? Wow. Street racing started in the street, right? So it's street. Hip hop is street. When you think about urban wear, which is skate skateboarding brands, which is called street wear, it's all from the hood, and it and it doesn't necessarily mean it has to be a urban metropolitan or like hood. It's just for racing, for hip hop. Oh, as far as the correlation in hip hop, street racing, the big rims and shit like that, spinners. Spinners were made to try to cool down exhaust and all of that shit. We took it to hip hop in the early 2000s. All the ballers had spinners on their trucks and all of that shit. 24 inch rims. Even decking your car out. The car culture is really like a, essentially a street and hip hop culture. Struggle. That's what everyone comes from. So hip hop started from struggle. It was people who would take their parents' records, right? And they knew that in the beginning of this record is 10 seconds that the drum is just looping. What they'll do is put that on the Serato, um, uh, uh, turntable and then they'll loop that 10 seconds and that should be. Then they'll take another record, put it on the other side of the turntable and that gives you your percussions and your hi-hats. And then they just take a microphone and rap. Hip hop was, the foundation is built off sampling initially, like essentially. And that's the whole, that's that's what we do. So I think everything that goes into it, I think the struggle speaks out the best. And we all know that. It's, it's the struggle. Uh, everybody who wasn't like born with a silver spoon in their mouth, even those mother born with a silver spoon in their mouth, they always feel a need to show that they're worthy, that they need to show their parents, man, I'm not just no hedge fund baby. Like I, I got this. I know rich billionaire, born billionaire mother who own multi-million dollar businesses by themselves and there's not no Trump thing where the dad gave him only a 10 million dollar loan like what the f you know what I'm saying it's like people who do it themselves and I think that uh even if you have a silver spoon just keep going because if you if you stop bro you can't afford to stop no one can afford to stop because if you stop it's over and that's the truth and and, and for lack of better words and simple in the most simplest terms if you stop it's over we all share the same thing, which is struggle. And for anybody struggling, I just want some words of encouragement. ASAP, meaning always strive and prosper. It's not what you think. It's not as soon as possible. But we took a positive riff on and put a spin on something that meant quickly. But for us, it's everything but fast. It actually has more of a positive perspective. And it was some form of encouragement that promoted prosperity and ambition amongst the young brothers. There's a lot of people where I come from who have a lot of capabilities and different backgrounds, but we never really exercise those tools or anything like that because we're so stuck in our situations or trying to live up to a facade that was, you know, put in front of us that we got to live up to and other people's expectations. I think always strive to prosper is just creating your own path for your own destiny but not going rogue and not giving up it's always about the encouragement i think the message for striving is just it's easy it's because it's so easy to give up it's so easy to give up 
you could give up you could start doing you could give up and you could just stay at home or you know give up all aspirations you could give up on life you could give up on your friends yourself your family i think prosperity is just what we all want in the long end and what we hope for and that's what we work towards because i think this phrase and this crew is supposed to show you that if you strive you shall prosper everybody has some type of support so i mean i don't think that it's wise to try to take on everything as an individual by yourself but you don't necessarily need a crew it just worked out for me we formed this brotherhood and this brothership because we don't have that where we from you know every time there's always an organization of guys from the urban community getting together we labeled as a gang or some type of terrorist party or something like that you know we just wanted to do something positive we're not saints but uh, at the same time, we're not cold-blooded sinners, and it's really all about just getting your dreams out there, man. And I think that I'm I'm an advocate for that. You know, I advocate for that. I think I'm a catalyst for change. I think I'm a catalyst for, you know, striving and prospering and doing it how you want to do it your way because everything about me is unorthodox, man, my style, the way I talk and everything. But, it, I mean, it works, and I just want to encourage people to be them, whatever that may mean, and... uh whatever your goal is is set to be to try to accomplish that that's the purpose of it and i think that's the pursuit of happiness in life people don't get to know that i'm human just like them i go through struggles just like them i go through frustrations and everything as far as my accolades and accomplishments go it's, it wasn't easy you know and um like i said I'm just as normal as everyone else when it comes to that matter people just assume once you are superstardom that you kind of don't bleed or you know or shit or sleep or anything but uh for me it's more so just uh making it just showing people that we're all relatable in the same sense that we all are the same in the same sense because i deal with everyday struggles just like anybody else most of the time a common person only correlates struggle to economic problems or you know financial problems but everybody has problems regardless of if it's economical or not so what would you do if you had the mindset that you have now and the knowledge that you've gained throughout the years and you could kind of like teleport back to your old self back in you know 2007 and whatnot i wouldn't change anything i think that those struggles is what got me here in the first place right and i don't think that my destiny was um written in another way so i kind of feel like the purpose of everything happening is meant to happen in that sense as far as the keys to the game and what i will say is that every game every category every margin changes everything some things change back to its original state and some things change in hybrid to a whole nother state or you know the evolution keeps going with everything some things are in style in the 60s and it comes back in style in the early 2000s and so you know so on and so forth the, the game always changes I think the best thing to do is just try to adapt with that, but still being yourself, you know, because there comes a, pl a time and place where I don't think a lot of people, you know, they, they forgot what it is to be an entertainer for the most part. Nowadays, being an entertainer is more so being a clout chaser or being somebody for, you know, lack of better words, somebody that's always in the public eye for no good reasons, for the wrong, all the wrong things, you know, for all the wrong reasons and uh, staying true to it. For instance, I'll give you an example of what I mean by that, because that was a vague statement. Nowadays, TikTok. TikTok is what every artist has to appeal to. Rapper, singer, pop artist. You have to go viral with TikTok. There's artists that don't even have a platform on TikTok, and they're big, you know, such as myself. I'm barely on it. I, I check it out to, you know, for entertainment purposes like everyone else, but I don't really utilize it for my career as I should be now I'm not opposed to it but people's music is changing nowadays and it's more appealing to the algorithm of TikTok so will it grab your attention in the first 15 seconds or would you swipe past it will it do this will it all of those factors don't even matter to me especially when I'm making music because I know the name of the game is to stay with the time and flow and new swagger and pace of things because it's always a radical change in whatever you do in any industry but I'm gonna stay true to myself because 
once all of the six nine and the clout chasing stuff is all said and done and you know those guys can't do shows and this and that and this and that this the legacy artists who are there who knows the difference between changing time and adaptation and that's the point i'm trying to make for me morally i just want my son to be open-minded creatively everything you know personally i just want him to be open-minded i don't Nobody wants a bad seed, right? So we all pray for the same thing. I, I just want to have a, a, a normal child that expresses himself through his art or artistically and, you know, something like his dad in that matter. You know, I just, I want him to be free, man. Like, I don't want him to discriminate against people who be prejudiced, none of that shit, you know? None of that bullshit, man. My stage name isn't my real name, which is named after the God MC Rakim himself. I felt like that that was like if I was a basketball player, I got named Michael Jordan. You know, that's like somebody in this day and age being named Jay Z or Kanye. Like, you know? Like you that's how that that's what that's equivalent to. I felt those shoes were so big to fulfill, I felt like I needed to earn my right to even call myself that. I just me personally. Internally I felt that way and um I got his okay and you know, my nickname I got from most Death, Pretty Flacco. His is Pretty Flacco Bay, that's why I'm, yeah. Yeah, so I get all my names from, like, rappers and stuff, and uh, as long as I get the green light, I run with it, and I just try to make them proud within my legacy and lean in. Like, I just want to do the right thing and knock down doors that they never did and accomplish things that they never thought that they could do because whoever comes after me got to do it bigger and better, you know, and that's all I want to do is just make sure that we line it up for long legacy in this genre man we still strong going on 40 years man we still here i want to make everybody proud you know that's just me i'm, I'm eager to do that i want to make everyone proud honestly you know and um even you guys just being able to say i worked with that guy you know what i respect his shit i like his shit i'm proud of that kid like i f with him that's what i want that's what i'm in it for that's what i do it for you know what i'm saying and um that's never going to change. I'm never going to be too egotistical to say, oh, you know, I'm, I'm richer than the rappers I, would, I was named after and I did this and that and I don't, I don't give a You know, that's just whatever. You know, that's just not my motto. That's not my thing. That's not my, that's not my swag. So for me, I just want to make everybody proud because I'm a student and I'm always learning. And, you know, the gratitude from certain people and individuals and validation is what counts, you know. I grew up in a household of four siblings, but uh, in general, there's 14 of us. And yeah, man, it's a lot of us, a lot of responsibilities. I'm the oldest, yeah, I'm, I'm the oldest from my pop's side, so my pop's passed away, and here I am with my brothers, and I'm like a dad figure in that sense. So that's why I was like, I've I kind of been a dad for a while now, technically, you know? It taught me I was just a weird mother man. I was just, I was, like it's different from all of them i was a strange one you know what i'm saying like i like the weird shit like so, music that people wouldn't even suspect me to like like what kids you know like bob dylan and buddy holly and these motherfuckers and shit you know what i'm saying like listening to bob marley and bougie bonton and i don't you know i don't know i'm just do you do you because where we from it's supposed to just be yo i only listen to mother you know what i'm saying i only listen to hoodie rap that's it. I'm a killer. You know what I'm saying? That's the attitude. But now it's just like, if you're not on that, you're a d You advocate for d and all that. If not, it's just, you know, it's braggadocious shit. Not to say that I don't have that in my rhymes. That's just the culture we come from. But uh, I think that there's more to me than just like that layer of just braggadocious, lackluster shit, you know, that everybody's doing. And the layers go way deeper than that, you know? And, um... I want you to invent your own style, right? On top of that, your 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 rapping capabilities have to be God level. And when I say that, I mean you got to be able to go on your index and pick different flows, different cadences, and you know. Also, I think what makes you a a, a really 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 dope MC today is when so many people from different backgrounds with you and can relate to you or listen to you you know and it's just like so many people speak to one demographic or target one demographic but when you have that wide range of just different people and different backgrounds that come together and can agree upon 
like the body of work or just that artist in general i think that's what makes you like god mc and somebody who doesn't do the whole bells and whistles cheat code clout thing like you know that's just it i was on my way over here and i was talking to my boy and I, we were just talking about how the kids are now like saying like you know future had a way better album than kendrick lamar and nobody want to listen to kendrick and i was just i was flabbergasted like what the you know what i'm saying like i'm trying to figure out what day and age am i living in that people's like granted you could like future over kendrick but where do you get off saying kendrick is ass and his music is mid inspiration that's what makes a dope mc look if you can inspire more and shit like that yes so individuality rapping capability um a sign of development and being mature and being mature and last but not least inspiration man it's, if you can inspire you know what i mean people from different backgrounds and all that shit and reach reach on on those people that's what i feel like is like technically god mcs you know life throws you lemons i make sprite remix while everybody's drinking lemonade and shit you know what i'm saying like i'm just i just like to make the best of each situation you can't stop man life is gonna throw you lemons there's gonna be days that you just feel like you can't even get out of bed today was one of them you know what <laughs> <laughs> everybody on the screen laughing and shit but it's true it's true though you know it's just like it's it's one of those things where what keeps me going is the passion to create i know that i feel like a genius right and i know that's some real self-centered shit to say within my own right what i do i feel like i mastered a lot of the things that i do and within those those margins i feel like i'm a genius in that in that realm and um i i wake up every day for change man i just want to i want to invent something new i want to design something new i want to say something new i want to direct something new i want to write something new i want to do something that's going to inspire my older than me younger than me you know that's why i want other my my age or younger or older to do the same thing keep it going we all got to be inspired man you know it's just like i'll use this for example like you if need for speed gave up they would have gave up a long time ago because we got grant that photo we got gran turismo we got this this that what the does that mean i have nothing to do with need for speed you get what i'm saying i'm trying to make an analogy connect out of this but you get what i mean you still keep going and we're gonna make the best out of it you make the best out of it, not saying, oh, we making the best out of a city, shitty situation. No, no. I'm saying you make the best out of what the best is, you know, and that's that's what I want to do. And that's what gets me up every day. My folks in there could tell you every day. My conversations when I was 16, where the hoes at? Where the bitches at? Where the girls? Where, yo, you going shopping? Oh, I ain't got no money. No, no, no. That was it. Now, where's the, what's the new designs? Yo, did you see this video? Look, we should do this. Hey, this would be dope on stage. My boys give me like that's just where I am now, and um, that's what wakes me up. I hope I'm not being too boring right now, but it's it's the truth. I want I want people to know that, especially about me. I'm I have insecurities, I have obstacles, I have ambitions, and I have failures, just like everybody else, just like all of us. And best part about life is waking up to be able to accomplish it again and do better and that's just that's it for me man and i know it sounds positive and uh, that's the truth though and i hate to sound so boring and shit but it's the truth you feel me like that's it man that's what we in it for and i, I want to encourage the young mothers and people who even from other cultures that just get into the culture it's never it's never too late you know i just want to encourage people that who all share struggle or is sharing a struggle even trying to accomplish anything man i just want to give them that ambition man some words of encouragement always strive always prosper man need for speed unbound see you on lakeshore online damn so i guess that really is the next step you completed the story well done complete an fs unbound story story continue to race earn money and customize your race perfection in single player mode or build up your garage and online world where you can challenge other racers show off your style wow like I said, thank you guys for joining me. Hope you guys enjoyed the series.
I'll be posting up a lot of other things besides this. Uh, I'll be playing Lake Shore online probably by myself and enjoying it and seeing what I can do. If there's anything that might help you guys, I might post it. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the series. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button for more. And I'll see you guys in the next one.